Hello. So, after that suspense-filled ending yesterday, did we catch anything at the barley mow after fishing all night? Did we get into work the next day, given that we were fishing in their back garden? On this day, 30 years ago, June the 16th, 1984, Saturday, at the canal, I caught one perch and one rud. In the afternoon, I went to Beachhampton Road and caught 17 dace and two roach. Total one and a half, one and a half what? One and a half tons? It's likely one and a half pounds, because that's what fish are measured in when you're fishing for them, if you fish in England. Yeah, so uh, I caught some perch. I bloody hate perch. Actually, I don't mind the big perch, but you didn't very often get them when you were me. It was usually the little bastards like that, and they'd usually swallow the whole... D Actually, I'll tell you what, worse than perch were these things called Pope, or Ruff, Daddy Ruff, some people called them. They were like a cross between a perch and a gudgeon. I don't know if they actually were, but they were like that. And they would always swallow the bloody the bait, the hook, the worm or maggot, or whatever. Usually it was if I was fishing with worms. They wouldn't just take it and you'd, you'd strike and you'd get them in the mouth where you meant to get them. No, the bastards would swallow the damn thing and it would go all the way down there. You'd, you'd be hooking them in the guts. And that was horrible because you got to unhook them. And, um, you know, I've got special tools for unhooking bastard fish that swallow the hook. Uh, I've got disgorgers, I've got artery forceps, but it's, it's, oh, it's just horrible when they swallow it. It's hard work. And, you know, taking care of the fish and keeping them alive is part of fishing. You don't want to damage them or harm them or whatever, and then the little bastards go and swallow it. Uh, and there will, be, there will be animal lovers who will rightfully say, well, you shouldn't be doing it, and... Well, I, I haven't fished in years, so... Yeah, I, I would... There's part of me that really, really wants to fish again, because I love the act of fishing, the catching of the fish. But there is that whole animal cruelty side of it that I think is probably fairly indefensible. Um, so... Yeah, I grapple with that one and don't go until such time as I come to some conclusion that either I will never fish again or fuck it. Meh. Um, Beachhampton Road. I love Beachhampton Road. I wouldn't say it was good fishing, but I went there anyway. There were... Um, I preferred actually fishing on the other side. Um, what did they call Monty's they called it. I don't know why they called it Monty's, but it was a part of the Great Ooze around the back of Dean's Hangar where I lived. And uh, there was some good chub there. I, I never caught one. I hooked one. and it, I mean, big, big chub. Um, lost it. And no jokes about chubbies, please. If you've got a chubby, I don't want to know about it. Uh, yeah, dace, they're kind of like meh. And roach, a couple of them. Good day fishing. No mention of work. I will assume I went to work. It would be hard not to have, given that we were fishing in their garden at the time. I will have been absolutely bloody knackered. Many was the time I went to work or school, having been up fishing all night. Uh, I fell asleep once, twice in school. Once I fell asleep in a physics lesson. I wasn't even expecting to fall asleep. Um, I just... I was gone. I, I just remember opening my eyes and there's the teacher talking and I'm like, I have no idea what's going on. And another time we were in the language lab where you, you, you got a desk and you got headphones on and it's all tape machine thing and microphones and you got boards either side of you so no one can look at you and see what you're doing in case you're shy talking into a mic. I've never had a problem with that myself. Um, I just propped my book in, in front of me, big book, leaned back, so book in front of face, teachers at the front of the class, I'm at the back of the class with a big book, for most of the lesson, and that was from fishing all night. 
Yeah, I did like going in the language lab. It was good for if you hadn't had enough sleep. They, I mean, sometimes they would listen in on you, you know, to see that you were speaking, because it was like, what did it say? Echo t a repeti. That is appallingly bad French. Listen and repeat. That, I suppose, is what it... Uh, bleh, Claudette mange le croissant, whatever. I don't remember much French at all. But, uh, yes, it was good for... Um, going to sleep. All this from a fishing thing, like a tiny little one sentence paragraph thing. Education. Or not. Thank you for watching.